So I thought I was going to take a shower, but I got up a little bit later than I thought, and I'm on panel in class, so I want to first review my notes for that, and second, I don't want to be on panel with wet hair, so I'm just happy to get this over with for this week and move on to my other classes. Well, I mean, I've been studying for those classes too, but taking panel off the table once this is over, which like, it could be today and tomorrow, but uh, that will at least loosen some of the stress and the like intensity of which I review my notes. And I can work on other assignments more, I guess, purposefully. <laughs> Okay, so I think that I captured none of my answers in class. Um, one of the times that I did talk was just like purely based off of having an opinion. The other time was because the person on panel, uh, I guess they needed an assist, but they weren't quite getting the answer and the professor asked <laughs> for somebody else on panel to volunteer. So I did so that A, the person who was in that miserable position could get out of it for a second and then also so that nobody else on panel would be called on because I felt like I had the answer and somehow I did and I was able to walk through the follow-up questions. That's usually like my thing of not volunteering sometimes is like it's not answering the immediate question it's the rabbit hole that they will lead you down after you answer that and like you never know where that's gonna go but yeah um and like 56 minutes I have Kind of like a networking event for like internship stuff and I kind of forgot about it because I probably just would have gone on panel with wet hair but I think I'm still gonna go ahead and shower I don't think they're gonna actively be looking at me because it's just kind of like an invitation to observe I think so I think I'll be good I'm gonna try to do that super quickly and make lunch because well I'm hungry so I just got done reading for one of my classes and before that I was meeting with my like research and writing professor kind of going over questions I have about my brief that's due this weekend which like I have so much work to do on because we're doing more revision in class tomorrow so gonna work on that but for now I'm going to do some kind of like meal prep stuff for the next couple of days and I'm making some noodles like I did a couple weeks ago for like more like Italian style pasta, but I want to do kind of like more ramen noodles. Like really, the basics are the same. I think there's just like a couple of like small ingredients that differ, but I'm going to do that and make some hot chocolate and do some more reading and some work on my research brief, my case brief, my motion brief. My, you know, I'm not even saying real words. Um, not really any of those things, but it is a brief. And then I'll have dinner later. It's like 6.45. So not like, well, when I say not later, later, I will make the dough and probably let it sit out for 30 minutes to an hour before putting it in the fridge. Because so I want it to like do its whatever it does and then go in the fridge. And while it's doing that, I'll do more work and then I'll like make dinner. So not super late dinner, but kind of late. and I decided to wait to make it until after dinner, after doing my studying, like just an earlier round I'm about to do more studying. And I just figured it'd be a nice pick me up as I go into the night. I don't know how long I'm gonna work on this. I don't have 
I've done everything that needs to be done for tomorrow, so I, like, I don't have a set amount, but we'll see. Probably I won't vlog tomorrow because I am uploading a video. I am attempting to start a second channel that is more like focused on like school and like career and like productivity and things like that. And so I'm gonna try to put a study with me up on that tomorrow and then try to film a like a not impersonal exactly because it is personal to me but a less me focused day in the life on that channel as well so not tomorrow i'm gonna try to film it tomorrow and we'll see how long it takes me to edit it for now i've got my hot chocolate and i'm gonna study and go to bed so it's thursday and i have a lot to do but it's 68 degrees and the sun is out with enough clouds that it doesn't get like you know where it feels even warmer so perfect weather i think i'm just gonna go maybe leave my phone maybe take it so that i can show you because i don't bring my whole camera and then turn it off but i'm gonna find some place to be out there and get my work done and just not get distracted so happy thursday to me So I'm back inside and I haven't accomplished as much today as I want to do, but I have plenty of time. I just had dinner and I stayed out for like an hour and a half maybe. Got a lot done when I was out there. It was so nice, but I got a little cold, so I came back in. So I have a weekend ahead of me, so I think I will see you on the other side of it, maybe on Sunday when I'm done. So it's like 10 a.m. and I am out of bed. I submitted what I was working on this week last night, but I have another project for another class that I'm working on with my teammates in like two hours. So I'm gonna try to finish that up. I finished the information, but I wanna work on my slides, even though I think we're gonna do some of that together. But, and then about 30 minutes before that, I'm gonna try to get ready because part of it is recording ourselves, which is not ideal. But yeah, so, working on this and then hopefully getting some of the stuff out of this week. I've made like a, I get it. I've made like a to-do list and it has like finishing that up. I have pretty stacked days, Monday, Tuesday, and I still need to edit the vlog that we're in. Um, but I also want to try to give myself some time to just have a little rest because it's been such a tough week and this week is just coming into it isn't too bad but it's still like Monday Tuesday I, like I said are stacked until like late Tuesday afternoon but then Wednesdays are so intense that I will have to get all of that reading done too and then um what else yeah oh next weekend I've been avoiding this like th just thinking about it like I I did it myself but I've been avoiding thinking about it I'm supposed to move next weekend and I'm not quite sure how that's going to go. I know it's going to be a pain in the butt no matter what, but we shall see how much of a pain in the butt, but it's just like I've had so much to do that like thinking about it was just going to overwhelm me, so I have been avoiding thinking about it, and I kind of need to keep not thinking about it. It's just, it is what it is. I also have a training for my pro bono, and so that'll take up a lot of Friday afternoon. So basically, like, I just, I will be treading water, and that's, it is what it is. But yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all this, and then I'll get dressed and keep going, and hopefully be able to read enough time to, like, take advantage of the weather, which is really nice. It's supposed to be today, and it already looks like it's gonna be sunny outside. So after all that talk about going out and reading, I finished mostly my reading for tomorrow and looked up and realized that it was cold an hour and I wouldn't really make it anywhere and have time to read and that just is what it is that's what the kind of week it's been so I thought I would share a little bit just about why this week was so hectic and I'm sure like why this vlog was so short and so sketchy and that is kind of just for a few different reasons some of it is just like having work 
um, just like regular reading and things like that. And then a part of it, I think I mentioned kind of a few vlogs back about how like the process for summer stuff is just ongoing. So like you're constantly applying and interviewing and stuff like that until like you get something in here back and like the application cycle runs from like December through probably like end of March just because things open on different timetables and then you interview for them differently. Some things you interview for almost immediately. Some things they wait until applications close. Like it's just, it is what it is. And so like, I feel like as a 1L, you're constantly preparing until you get to the point. Um, unless like you're doing something super specific and then like at the end you might be doing like research over the summer and that's good too. But yeah, so that's something that's like always going on in the background and then research and writing. I hate my arm being there. Research and writing. They, uh, here we have, you know, legal research and writing the first quarter and we have Fed Lit for two quarters, which is another research and writing class. It's just, it's called Fed Lit. And so that brief was due for everyone. Like everyone's had different deadlines along the way, just depending on the professor you have, but we all had it due this weekend. So that was something that I was just working on late into the night for most of the week. So it just meant that I had to put off a lot of things until today. And even though it was looking like I was going to be able to do it. And by do it, I mean go out and read this book, which I'm, I really am excited to read. And I need to read before next week. But it didn't work out. Hopefully I will be able to make time to do some outside reading this week. Um, Monday and Tuesday look so hectic, but the weather's super nice, so I have to make it work. And yeah, I just... I will probably finish up the last part of that reading and read this. So now that I've talked a lot, this is going to be, obviously, it's a really talky vlog and, you know, some weeks might be like that. So I will see you next week. Who knows what this week is going to look like. Um, at the very least, you'll see me move probably at least parts of it because I got to do it.